What is up guys, I'm here with the PokerWeasel.com player pool sheet. This is going to be a tutorial for the preflop tab. Now we do need some additional software to make the most of this tab. Open on the screen right now, I have an equity calculator. I'm using Power Equilab, but any equity calculator might work for this. And we also have a range research report. So if you're unfamiliar with this, this is average tendencies of the population. And I'm running it using my Death Star hand to note tools package. So when we see, for example, five bet versus low jack, and we see a 19% frequency there, that means the average five bet versus low jack of this player pool is 19%. So we're going to use this to figure out how much equity different types of hands have when they face a five bet. Now, just a quick walkthrough on the layout of the sheet. We have the positions here. So this is our position. So when we're on the button, for example, we're having a look at the population five bet range versus button. For example, we open the button, big blind three bets, we four bet the button, big blind five bet jams. What is the average range of that five bet jam according to the population data? How much equity do the different types of hands along the top of the sheet have versus that range? We're then going to put that data into the sheet. Notice we have the positions repeated across different colors. So we have the same positions in pink, the same positions in green, red, cyan, and yellow. Why do we have this? It's for different player profiles. If you followed some of my other material, you'll know what the colors mean automatically. In fact, you can see some of the color markings here in the range research report. So for example, pink is my donk tag, green is my fish tag, lag is cyan, Red is reg, i.e. tag, etc. Now it's possible in hand to note to run a profile based range research. In other words, what we see right now on the screen is the average stats of the entire player pool, but it's possible for us to just see the average stats of a pink tag because the five bet range of a pink tag is going to be different from the five bet range on average of the entire player pool. So this first set of data is for the average stats then we can use profile-based range research to populate the rest of the sheet. Let's have a look at how this works. So we can see the first row is when we're in the low jack, and then we have the range of hands along the top that we want to compute equity for. So the next step is to bring up the relevant preflop grid using the hands note range research. If I hover over that 19% we saw earlier, we get this whole cards grid. We can see that there are two colors here. So we have the five bet range in green, that's the five bet range of the population. And we have the call versus four bet range in blue. We're of course just interested in the five bet range right now. If I right click over this grid and then choose copy, one cell equals one weight, I can copy and paste this into the Power Equilab output. If we hover over that pasted range, we can see the breakdown with correct weighting of the population five bet range versus low jack or UTG on a six handed table. Notice that it didn't pull through any of the calling data. That's because we're looking at the five bet stat. So it's automatically just pulled through the five bet range of the population with accurate weighting. We can now use this to calculate the expectation of the various hands along the top of our Excel sheet here. So we can see the first hand in the list is pocket kinks. Let's have a look at the equity of Pocket Kings. You can see the equity is 63.02. This is currently set to European, so we're using a comma, but you can change the settings so that you use a decimal place instead. And now it's just a case of using that same range to populate the equity into the sheet for all the different hands. So we can see Pocket Queens, 47. So as you can see, I've used the decimal place there. It doesn't work because it's on European mode, so 47.1. Now notice that's turned red, and this is a relative coloring setup. So you'll see how that works when we add a different color. So it's red right now because it's the most extreme value in terms of it's the lowest value on the sheet right now. But when we see the equity of jacks, that's not gonna be the case anymore. So the coloring on queens will actually change. This is now 40.54% equity. You can see queens turns orange, jacks is now red. Let's do a few more just so we can get a spectrum. Ideally, you'll fill out the whole row. We might not do that right now. So this is 37.44. So it makes sense. The weaker our pocket pair, the less equity we're going to have. What about ace-king suited? 
45.59. Ace King offsuit, probably have slightly less equity with the offsuit combo, 42.63. Ace Queen suited, 36.28. So we'd actually slightly prefer tens to ace queen suited according to this. Now in terms of using this data, we just have equities here. If you think about the size of the five bet, it's going to determine whether we have a profitable call or not. In a fairly typical situation, maybe our four bet's going to be around 25 big blinds, possibly smaller depending on the size of the three bet. But let's say we four bet to 25, our opponent five bet jams 100 over the top. That means we're calling 75 into a total pot of 200. That means 37 and a half equity required to make the call. So essentially, if something is above 37 here, it means we have a profitable call against the five bet, although very close to break even. Whereas if it's below 37 and a half, it means it's going to be minus EV. However, keep in mind, this doesn't take into account rake. So by the time we factored in rake, we're going to need slightly more equity to make the call. So this helps us to provide an accurate mathematical answer to whether we should be calling a five bet from any given position. Now let's say we're going to map out another position. We can simply pull up some data from the range research. So let's have a look at three bet versus button or five bet versus button. We're going to right click again. We are going to copy one cell equals one weight. Let's paste that. So this should be slightly wider. Now we should find hands have slightly more equity against this range. So fairly similar distribution overall compared to the five bet versus low jack, but obviously more hands in this range, slightly wider, slightly weaker. As you can see, the equity of ace queen suited is going to be a few percent higher if we face a five bet while on the button. So that's going to be 39.21. And we just enter the data in the same way. We've got our range input there. Let's see how much more equity kings have. 68.13. So as we expect, we can consistently call a five bet with a wider range when we're on the button compared to when we're in the low jack. 55.30 compared to 47.1. Let's have a look at jacks. By the way, this data is stars 200 NL. And you'll find that you can't necessarily call as wide if you're playing low limit games. So you can see from this data that it might be okay to call a five bet with ace king, for example, after opening an early position. That may not be true if you're playing lower limit games, especially since the rake is going to be higher at lower limits as well. Pocket jacks, 46.26 equity. Let's just fill out this row, then we'll see how we can run some profile based analysis using this sheet. Pocket tens, 41.04. Ace King suited, 47.97. Ace King offsuit. Notice as well, just as a takeaway, that many of these hands are actually underdogs. Aside from Kings in early, all of the other hands are actually underdogs. In late position, even Ace King is an underdog in late position with 48% equity. That's Ace King suited. It's only Kings and Queens are to actually favor it. So that should tell us something. When we're calling a five bet, we expect to not have the best equity most of the time, but it doesn't mean that calling is incorrect because we only need 37 and a half equity to make the call on average. So it's okay to be an underdog. If we only need 37 and a half equity and we have 42% equity, we're still going to lose most of the time, but it's correct to make the call. Sometimes players might think that they're doing something wrong if they consistently have inferior equity when calling against five bets. In fact, it's quite common to not have the best equity when calling against a five bet. Ace King offsuit, 45.26. Now let's have a look at the profile based range research. I've already pre compiled these reports. Let's have a look at the ping tag. So these are players who have a decent amount of open limping going on. So they're definitely weaker on average compared to the tendencies of the player pool and compared to, let's say, the average reg. We might anticipate that these types of players are going to be five betting a wider range. So let's test that theory. Let's see how wide a pink tag or a donk is five betting against the low jack open. We can see the frequency is already higher. If you remember, the frequency of the average tendencies of the pool was 19% five bet versus low jack. Now we have 26. 
So let's have a look at the range. We're just going to remove the previous range that we have in there. So this is 5-bet versus low jack from a pink tag. You can see already that there's a wider distribution here. Let's paste that in and have a look at it with the weightings. So there's definitely a marked difference between this range and the average 5-bet range of the player pool. Let's have a look at how equities change when playing against the pink tag facing that 5-bet. So if we have a look at Pocky Kings, so we'll see 67.41 in low jack. Remember, we're comparing this to the low jack data. So on average, we have 63% equity when facing that 5-bet. But specifically against the pink tag, we have 674 we anticipate that we're going to be calling consistently wider against this specific type of villain profile. Let's complete the row so we can compare the data. 54.55 with queens. Again, more equity than average. Jacks, 48.05. Tens, 44.77. So consistently higher when facing this particular profile. Ace King suited, 51.02. This is fairly light in terms of a range research report. It has only two and a half million hands, but I think we're getting fairly convincing data from this. You might want to run the same report with 5 million, 10 million hands. The bigger the sample, the better within reason. 48.43 and finally ace queen suited is 43.56 one of the interesting takeaways here just to help us simulate the data if we have a look at the average equity we have on the bottom versus the entire player pool compared to the equity we have against a pink tag when we are opening in the low jack you can see that actually we seem to have slightly more equity while in the low jack. In other words, facing a 5-bet from a pink tag when in early is a little bit like facing a 5-bet in late position from an average unknown opponent. So it's always better to be facing this pink tag. At the other end of the spectrum, we have this very tight player profile here, the orange tag. If we were to run the analysis against this particular player profile, we're going to find out that we have a lot less equity on average because maybe an orange tag is primarily shoving kings and aces and perhaps not too much else. Okay, so if possible, your challenge is to try and fill out the entire sheet alongside a range research report that you've run by yourself. So good luck, hope you enjoy the sheet. Thanks for checking out this tutorial. And remember, you can pick up your copy of the player pool sheet at www.pokerweasel.com.